You saw us do our clean burn last week. Well, guess what? Now we've got an egg emergency operation. New gaskets. Yeah, that's right. Last week we did our clean burn. So if you didn't see that, go check out the video. It's really cool. You want to know how to clean this thing out. But what happens, like I warned you in the video, is that it can really tend to wear out and burn out your gasket. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some new big green egg gasket and we're going to replace our old gaskets. Everybody gets real worried. It's a hard thing to do. It's not that hard to do. I'm going to show you the easiest way that I know how to do it. It's plain and simple. First, we got to start by taking the top off of this thing. Let me show you how to do that. Now, as you can see here from the burn, my gasket on the top actually burned itself off of here. It just kind of fell off when I opened up the egg the other day. So that's already off. The bottom one here, you can see here, it's all peeled up. It's not sticking anymore. It's cracked and it just needs to be replaced. So it's no good anymore. You want to have that night tight. So you can see it's just coming up like this as I, as I go around it. So we're going to show you how to take this off. But if you're going to have to do this, you should, you should always check your gaskets. Make sure because you want a nice tight seal. If you're losing heat, then you're not burning too efficiently. So we want to eliminate that problem and fix this by replacing the gasket. Before we actually get to taking the top off, let me go through what you're gonna need for this process. It's really simple. As I said, I went to my local grill store, Grill and Propane here in Coral Springs, Florida, and I got the new Big Green Egg Gasket. They make it for all different sizes, okay? This one's for a large XL or 2XL. It gives you enough to go around the bottom, the top, and usually enough to go around the chimney as well. So you'll need your gasket material, any kind of scraper. I use a razor blade scraper. I find it works great. You can use a paint scraper, whatever you have a 7 16 wrench or socket. I prefer a socket. I just think it's a little bit more efficient and some acetone. Okay. I have mine in a spray bottle. You get it at like Home Depot or something. It's going to come out of a portable bottle. But we're going to use some acetone. We want to get all that old glue off of there. Now let's get back to what I was talking about before and take this top off. Shall we? The first step of this process is to take these hinges off here. Now, let me, let me just start by saying this. You don't need to take the top off, but it's a much bigger pain in the if you don't. You just got to close it just a little bit. Okay, and these hinges just pop out. Let me show you like this. A little bit of wiggling. See that? Nice and easy. Now, when you got to remember when you're putting them back in, they're going to go into the holes from the top so that the openings will be on the bottom. So you want to remember that when you're doing this. Now, what I've tried to do is figure out the absolute easiest way to take off the top that you won't have to worry about alignment and everything when you put it back together. And it all starts with these uh, nuts here on the sides and on the back. So it's 7 16 So all we're going to do is we're just going to pop these loose. Okay. Once they're loose, you can take them off by hand. Now, I don't know about you, but I am notorious for losing things like these little nuts when I'm doing my projects and work. So what I like to do, get a little bowl, put them in there, take my springs, put them in there, keep it all in one place. Don't knock it over. And then you'll be set when you go to put it back together. And then we're just going to do the same thing to the other side. Just loosen them up. Okay. And you can just pop them off by hand. We're halfway there now. All we have to do now is take off the four nuts and the back of the egg. Let me show you where these are located. Right at the top of the hinges. Okay. You can do the same thing that we did on the side ones. Just loosen them up. Again, 7 16 socket or wrench. Either one will work. Take them off of here. And we put them in our bowl so we don't lose them. Then once you have the nuts off, these just slide off real easy. One and two. Now, at this point, our dome is completely separated from the bottom of the egg. What you don't want to do is knock this or jar it because it will fall and trust me, it will crack. It's made of ceramic. So be very careful when you're at this next point of removing the dome. We're getting close. It's time to take the dome off. Now, you got to remember, this is going to be very heavy. If you look, I laid some rubber mats here on the floor. You can lay a blanket, whatever you want to do, just something to protect it because it is ceramic. We don't want to chip it. We don't want to crack it or anything. So we're going to grab the dome and just set it down nice and safely just like that. Easy peasy. The common thing to do is everybody wants to take their dome and just flip it over and rest it on the chimney and, and, and work on it like that. No, no, no. It's too unstable. There's too much chance of, of breaking it. So I came up with this ingenious idea. I have a moving blanket. You can use any kind of blanket, towel, whatever you want. Set it right over the egg. All right. Push that down in there like that. Just like that. <coughs> now we take our dome and set it in there upside down just like that. Now we've got a nice steady work surface. It's not going to go anywhere and we don't chance breaking the egg. We don't want a cracked egg. This ain't no Humpty Dumpty program, baby. So like I said before, on the top, my gasket had already fallen off and it come off here, but there's still some residue and everything on here. It's super important that you get this really, really clean before you put the new one on. 
So we're gonna scrape it, we're gonna spray it with a little acetone and get all the old glue, all the old gook, everything off of there so that the new one's gonna set perfectly on there and adhere to it, excellent. Again, you can use a paint scraper. This is a razor blade. What you don't want to do is be gouging into the ceramics. It is still ceramic. You can gouge into it. You're just trying to make it a nice, clean, flat surface. And the last part before we put the new gasket on is you're going to take a towel like this. You don't want to use your significant others like good bath towels or good kitchen towels, okay? Get an old rag or something like that. And spray some acetone on it and just give it a good wipe down. Just one last good measure, making sure it's nice and clean. Don't skip any step in here, folks, okay? See how dirty this is? I thought this was clean by scraping anything like that. We took all this extra dirt off of here. All this extra dirt will make the new gasket not stick so well. We want it to stick. We just want it to stick. <laughs> We've got the top all cleaned off now. It's all ready for our new gasket. We just wiped it down with the acetone again. Let this sit for a minute or two. The acetone dries like that, but just let it sit for a minute or two just to make sure that it's super dry. We don't want anything coming in, in, in the way of that new gasket sticking perfectly. So as you can see, it's nice and clean. We did a nice job, real simple to do. So, so far, not so tough, right? Tell me in the comments, have you ever changed your gasket? Did you have a hard time? Let me know. And now we are ready for gasket time. So, just take this out of here. As you can see, it comes in a little roll. Again, this is Big Green Egg's own brand, so I like to stick with the original. Now, as you can see here, it's got the felt side, and it's got a backing side. All we're gonna do is peel this backing side off a little bit and get it started. Just like that, okay? Now we're gonna start at the back of the eggs. So you wanna get, find out where your back hinge is and start there. You see how it comes straight across like that? Well, what I like to do is I like to cut about a 45 degree angle and start with it like that. So we're gonna line this up so that it fits perfectly on that inside edge. Okay, lay it down, give it a little pressage there so that it sticks. And we're just gonna peel the backing off as we go around the egg making sure this inside seam lines up perfectly with the inside. And just go around the egg. Take your time, don't rush this. There's no rushing. You rush it, you ruin it. That's what my sixth grade art teacher used to tell me. Now, as you're doing this, if you should go off a little bit, like, oh, look, whoops, okay, it's no problem. It's not real stuck to it yet. Just lift it up and recenter it. And just keep working your way around. Just take, as I said before, just take your time. You only have to do this once a year, maybe not even that. Depends how much you use your egg. Now, when you're doing this, you don't want to be pulling on this, all right? You want it to sit flat, so you're not trying to stretch it out. There's plenty of this to go around the whole egg. So, you just let it fall, let it fall on itself just like that until we meet up with the other edge. Look at that. And I just look where the mark is here and just cut it straight across. Easier said than done. And now we have a nice, tight fit seal for our egg. Voila, we can even trim it a little bit if you want. Last thing we wanna do is we're gonna go around here and just give a good push down, make sure it's all set nice and flat, push down real good. All right, make sure it's nice and adhered. Now, you got your seam here like that, you got a little bit of excess, you can trim it with your razor blade here like this. Now we will work on the bottom, abracadabra, and there it is. Now this guest got, got pretty torched from the, from the uh, clean burn, so a lot of it is just gonna pull up without a problem. But you, know, you can see, it's leaving a nice layer of stuff here. So we're gonna take this up, we're gonna use our acetone again, remember the acetone, squirt, squirt. And we're gonna get the rest of that junk off of here so we can get this nice and clean and get the new one put on the bottom. Now all of this needs to come off of here. So for the first time around, we're not gonna use any acetone. We're just gonna scrape as much of this off as we can. Then we'll come back with the acetone. Now we return for return trip with the acetone. And give a little scrapage here. Now, you may not get all the way down to clean ceramic. That's okay. We're getting a nice, clean surface, though. Whew! 
That was a little more work than I was in store for here, but we got it nice and clean. We got it all back, right back down to the bare ceramics. So that's what we want to do. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the acetone again like I did before. Just give it a little squirt on the towel and wipe up any excess. We don't want any sand on there, grit, nothing. We want it to be perfectly clean. Same thing, what we did to the top, we're going to do to the bottom. It's already cut at our 45 degree angle. So right in front of the back hinge here, I'm going to set this on. And we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're just going to go around lining up the inside edge with the inside edge. Nice and simple. Okay, our egg operation is well underway. We're almost done here. So the last part to this, we got it on here to assemble nice. Just going to push down, push down on it real good. Make sure it's adhered all around. Just want to make sure you have a good contact. Now, the important thing is here, once we set this back up, you don't want to cook on this for at least 24 hours. It needs 24 hours, 24 hours to set and really get that glue stuck to here so that it's not going to come off. Evidently, they did that before because this glue did not want to come off. That was a lot of work. And we are ready for the dome. We're getting there, folks. We're getting there. So take our dome. We just set it up on top here like such. Now, the important thing here is that we want to make sure we have it lined up. The beautiful part is the way that we took it apart, it's going to pretty much self line up anyway because the bolts have to go in a certain spot. So we just want to make sure that we have it nice and even all around. Make sure the front is lined up perfectly with our vents down the bottom. That looks pretty good to me. What do you think? Grab a couple more acorn nuts and hand tighten these. Again, we're just hand tightening them. Unless you're the Incredible Hulk action, you're not going to be able to crank these things down tight enough by hand. So right now we're going to do this and we're going to make sure all our adjustments are in place before we tighten everything up. All right, now we put the back hinges back on. You should just slide right in. Yeah, look at that. Just like we want. Right on. Perfecto. We want to move the dome just a little bit forward. There we go. See, now we've got a nice even matchup all the way around. Lines up beautifully. It may not look it because of the gasket, but the egg itself, the top and the bottom, line up perfectly. That's what you want. Now, one thing you want to do, too, just so I to mention is about once every, I don't know, once every six months or so, just go around and make sure all these things are pretty tight, all right? They do tend to loosen up over time. That's how people have lost their dome. So while you're back here, just give everything a good snug. And the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our springs back on. So remember, good, they go in from the top, okay? And then just like that. There's only one thing left to do now that we got that finished. It's called the paper test. What is the paper test? Well, you open it up, set a piece of paper in between there, and there should be some tension when you're pulling it out. Okay, if it slides out real easy without any tension, you don't have a good seal. So you wanna do that in four spots. I just like to do it uh, the 12, three, six, and nine positions. Our paper test has passed and our seals are good. So nothing better than having a good seal on an egg. So. You know, it's a little bit of work. I won't lie to you, it is. It's not hard, it just takes a little bit of time. I think we this is about an hour or so. Yep, right about an hour. So we took our time, we didn't rush it. It's easy, it's not hard. Don't let it intimidate you. You can see I showed you the easiest way to do the dome without having to readjust everything because you don't want to have an overbite or an underbite. So that's the easiest way that I know how to do it. If you know a different way, let me know. Also, if you'd like to see any other different videos, let me know. So, but a nice clean burn, our nice new gasket. This egg is ready to cook. So give us a subscribe right there. Give us a subscribe. Give us a thumbs up and comment on the thing here. Not only that, hit that bell for notifications. We want to know when we have new videos coming out because we got a lot of cool stuff coming up, all right? I hope that you enjoyed this and you're enjoying these BGE tutorials and get out and grill and I will see you the next time on the Fogo Live.